You don't know how it happened. Which decisions made you go and live five or ten months abroad? Maybe the most remote circumstance in a random day pushed you to that point, to go on Erasmus. And after a while, the decision that your mom disliked so much became a reality. You are there, and there's no going back. You discover your new flat or your new student house, and you start to fill the walls with pictures of the people you think you will miss a lot. You meet so many people that it's impossible to focus on everyone, so you try to guess who will be your best friends there. You start to search for things that remind you to what you have left, trying to feel the void of being far from your people. Then, you start to make plans with people that are very different from you, and you find yourself doing things that maybe you wouldn't even do with your friends. Things like going out on a Monday, having a beer at 3 in the afternoon, showing them your favorite series, or even meeting up for grocery shopping. And all of that starts to sound so good. You choose a family. Everyone is from a different part of the world, and each of you are so different. It's like putting together 15 people that would never have had the opportunity to have met and that would never have been interested in each other, and that happens on Erasmus. And you understand that all those differences, instead of being an obstacle, are something to connect. There is something that I have learned by meeting so many people, and it's that everyone has their own story. Few of them are there for no reason. All are running away from something or looking for something that they haven't found so far. We all have a void inside, and something we have in common is the willing to fill that void. Everything is incredible. Every part is better than the last one. Every moment with people that three months ago were strangers becomes an eternal footprint in your memory. It even feels that you know them since forever, and that you won't be able to live without them. Time goes by, and you are so happy that you don't even realize. But one day, you look at the calendar, and it's only one month to go. The depression post Erasmus starts to appear even before leaving. During the last month, everything feels like a goodbye. And you are right, there is no more time. It might be the last moment you share with a person or even the last time you see them. And it's scary, and that makes you feel tired. That makes you wonder why did you decide to go on Erasmus. From now on, a piece of your heart will always be split in different parts of the world. You know you will see again some of them but you are also aware that it might be impossible to see all of them together, that this will not happen again. The person who took the plane to come won't be the same person that leaves. The person who comes after Erasmus is a new version of yourself, a version that didn't exist before. When you leave all of this, you make it your own, and then you understand, once Erasmus, always Erasmus. So please, don't go on Erasmus. I should never have gone. I should never have chosen to miss so much a city, a friend, a group, an Erasmus. But, however, it was the best decision of my life. <laughs>